time now to toss it over to Kristen Emery, and she's going to tell us how much more we're going to have to be shoveling the snow. I know I'm like over it. It's only been two times, Kristen. Yeah, we don't have anything we'll have to shovel with this, maybe a coating or a dusting by tomorrow in spots. But if you're up along I-80, closer to I-80, or if you're in the Laurel Highlands, you could see an inch or in the highest elevations, maybe up to two inches. A little bit of sh snow shower activity and some flurries starting to get going right now in Pittsburgh. We still have just cloudy skies, but the temperature continues to fall. We were at 48 degrees just in the wee hours of the morning. That was our high. Now the cold front has swept through this afternoon. The temperature has fallen down to 34 with winds out of the west-northwest at 14. So the wind chill is making it feel in the 20s right now. And we finally have had everyone drop into the 30s and 20s. Earlier this afternoon, Washington, Waynesburg, Morgantown were hanging in there in the lower to mid-40s. Morgantown has just dropped to 38 degrees this hour. Clarion is down to 29. Everyone else is in the lower to mid-30s, but lows tomorrow morning will be in the 20s. So here's the radar, and we're starting to see the evidence of that cold air coming across Lake Erie. We're getting some lake effect snow showers starting to build, and you see just through southern portions of Clarion County, over into central and northern Butler County, Northern Lawrence County, Mercer County, those lake effect streamers are starting to push in from the west. So overnight, scattered showers and flurries along I-80 and into the Laurel Highlands are the areas where we could see a little bit of accumulation. But everyone else, maybe a coating or dusting in spots or just a few flurries blowing around. Temperature will be cold, though. Here's Futurecast keeping those snow showers with us all the way through 11 o'clock and then tapering off in the middle of the night. By tomorrow morning, we'll wake up to lower to mid-20s, mostly cloudy skies, and then the clouds begin to clear through the day. We'll have actually a nice partly cloudy afternoon, but temperatures will be a touch below average in the lower to mid-30s for afternoon highs. So tomorrow night, then we start the upswing in temperatures. By Wednesday morning, warmer, more moist air begins to arrive. We start off the day dry. Temperatures surge into the 40s on Wednesday. And then finally, here's 5 p.m. Around dinner time into the mid-evening, rain moves in from the west. And it'll be warm enough that this will be all rain overnight into Thursday morning. Now, the question is, there's cold air on the backside of this. Some of the models have tried to bring that colder air in soon enough that we would get some freezing rain or a bit of snow on the back end of this. But right now, a lot of the models are trying to keep it rain as well. Then dry New Year's Eve afternoon and early evening, but we have another punch of rain coming in New Year's Eve into New Year's Day. For tonight, snow accumulation, Hardly anything in most areas, a dusting to a coating, but we could see a half an inch to an inch over into the Laurel Highlands and up along I-80. So tonight, 24-year overnight lows, scattered snow showers. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, chilly, 33. Wednesday, warmer and mostly cloudy. After dinner into the evening, rain arrives. Rain continues Thursday morning, mixing with possibly a little bit of wet snow, and it'll be wet and very warm on New Year's Day. Look at that, 50 degrees, but rain.